Hi, my name is Dr. Jeb McAvini from Scully Care. Today I'm going to show you how to fit the kyphosis arm, which we have here, to the hyperkyphosis brace. Firstly, you would have fitted the brace around the patient to decide the level at which the arm is going to connect into the brace. So remember that this part of the brace under the axilla should be lower than the patient's axilla so that their arms can relax. And then this top part of the kyphosis arm will sit just below the clavicle of the patient. When this is on the patient, we put this into position and we will then mark on the brace with a little grease pencil where we want the hole for the rivet to be. Once we have that, we can take the brace to the workshop and we can drill our hole and connect the arm. Once we have the arm hole drilled, we just drill it through here like this. We want to make sure, as soon as we drill that hole, that the rivet fits. So we can just test it from the outside. We need a slightly bigger hole, so we'll just go to a bigger bit. We also want to make sure that we can see in here, in through the foam, to put our bit in. So we might just need to push it through with a screwdriver or clean it out with a knife just so that the rivet can fit in. We then take our little rivet, pop it into the brace, and push it through. And you want to make sure that it sits flush with the plastic so that it's not digging into the patient. So that will come all the way through and in fact when we screw it up it'll draw the the end of the rivet back into the foam. From here, we simply line up the hole on the kyphosis brace arm, and we connect it up. At this point, it's usually easier to use a little hand screwdriver, just so that we can get the pressure on there to do the screw up. So we don't want to tighten it up all the way because what we actually want is for this part of the arm to be able to pivot. We then go back and check this on our patient. So we put it on the patient, we get the patient to externally rotate the glenohumerals, protract the scapula, push this back to the area that firmly holds the patient's shoulders in the desired correction. Once we have that pressure correct, we then want to take this part of the strap and mark there the length that will hold that tight into place. So we would just mark this on the brace here. Be careful when you're putting the anchor for the tether onto the patient's brace. You don't want it to be on the channel where it's con contacting the patient. Um, you want it to be in an area of little contact. And then we just follow the same procedure. So exactly as we did before, we insert the screw into the channel, we tighten that back up, and then we find that the kyphosis arm is locked into place. Once that's locked into place, the patient then has some options. They can release the tension here, this will allow the arm to swing, or they can maintain the tension and they can re release the quick release buckle. And that then keeps this at the tension that's required. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions about fitting the kyphosis arms to the brace, please contact scullycare.com.au. Thank you.